going to see at a Crossfire Wrestling event. And talking about superstar status, look who we have in the ring right now. Aaron. It's time for the main event of the evening. What a blast it's been spending St. Patrick's Day with you, the fans of Crossfire Entertainment, the fans of Crossfire Wrestling here at the fairgrounds. It's Nashville's very own. We're not going nowhere. We're here, and it's time for the main event. Chavo Guerrero Jr. and the man who loves to fight, Fit Finley. A main event matchup, not only anywhere in the country, but anywhere in the world, being brought to you right under the roof of the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, courtesy of Crossfire Wrestling, bringing only the best to the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Chavo Guerrero, Fit Finley, what a matchup we're about to see. Response for Fit Finley. Look at the size of this gentleman. I think he's as thick as he is tall there, Aaron. He hails from El Paso, Texas. This is Chavo Guerrero Jr. You talk about legendary sporting families. You talk about the Petties in NASCAR. You talk about the Gracies in MMA. You have to talk about the Guerreros in professional wrestling. Absolutely. Talk about Chavo Guerrero. Of course, his grandfather, Rory Guerrero, one of the greatest Mexican wrestlers of all time. Then you talk about his uncles, Mondo, Hector, and of course, the one and only Eddie Guerrero. Long this line of wrestling greats coming. This guy is the very epitome of what a professional wrestler not only represents, but how a professional wrestler competes and how a professional wrestler wins. And that's exactly what he's come to Crossfire Wrestling to do. The problem is, major obstacle in the way, that obstacle fits him. Absolutely, you're talking about guys who are brawlers, guys that'll tear your head off, your thumbs off, your legs off, he'll tear you into a million pieces. Fit Philly, he just likes to fight. He wants to beat people up, he wants to win matches. And I talked to him earlier, he loves it here in Nashville, Tennessee. He loves being a part of Crossfire, and he wants to climb to the very top. If he wants to climb to the top, now is his opportunity. There's no time like the present. A big win right now over Chavo Guerrero would further cement his legacy, not only in professional wrestling, but right here in Crossfire Wrestling. Absolutely, what a treat for the fans here in Nashville, Tennessee. Two guys that you've got to look at as being legends, guys that have been to the top and guys that know what it's all about. I mean, true competitors, Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Fit Finley, two of the greatest competitors in wrestling right up there of all time. You've got to consider these guys up there with some of the greats. And, you know, Chavo, I can't even tell you when the last time he's been in Nashville. It's been a long time. So this main event, a real feat treat for the fans here in attendance and a treat for the fans at home watching on DVD. A big homecoming right here at Crossfire Wrestling. Chavo Guerrero here to prove the point to show not only does he carry his own legacy, but the legacy of his family. You mentioned you gave the rundown of the names, the legendary Eddie Guerrero, Hector Guerrero, Chavo Sr., many of the Guerrero family been involved in the industry of professional wrestling. Chavo here to, to make his mark in the sport of professional wrestling. And what a venue to display his talent against Fit Finley right here at Crossfire Wrestling. Well, I can tell you also, leading up to this main event, in the weeks and the months leading up to it, I found personally the Latino community here in Nashville, Tennessee, extremely excited to have one of their own heroes, you know, here competing and their chance to see him and see him compete. They, they love it. They love it. Everybody loves that Fit Finley's here. You talk to the fans in the street, you say, who's your favorite wrestling company? And unanimously on the streets of Nashville, Tennessee, it's Crossfire. Definitely making a, leaving a big footprint right here in Nashville, Tennessee, soon to be all across the world, all across the country. 
Main event also anywhere in the country. Brought to you right here by Crossfire Wrestling, Tennessee State Fairgrounds, Aaron Camaro. It just does not get any bigger and better than this. And one thing I gotta wonder, you know, Rod, it's it's St. Patrick's Day. Does that give Fit Finley an advantage in this match? Well, that depends on how many green alcoholic beverages he may have consumed prior to his arrival here. Possibly he was smart enough to do that after the fact. St. Patrick's Day, everybody's going to have a good time. He just might be the lucky Irishman tonight. Yeah, he's going to do his best to make sure that Chavo Guerrero does not have a good time here tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Fit Finley, a big, strong man. And you talk about experience. And a lot of people probably don't realize this, but Fit Finley is a 38-year veteran in this sport. Started at a very young age in Ireland. You know, of course, would go on to be the um, WCW TV champion, a WWE United States champion, and basically has held every major title in Europe that there is to hold. And he's been at it for a long time, but still, the guy is just solid. He's strong, and he's a winner, no doubt about it. Absolutely, I must agree with you there. Both of these guys taking their time, killing a little bit of time in the matchup because they know once they lock up, baby, then it's go time. Chavo out there taking time to greet some of the many fans of Crossfire Wrestling before he lock up. Collar and elbow top immediately to the headlock by Fit Finley, and we're off and running here. Yeah, Fit Finley, the bigger, stronger man, taking it to, to Chavo right now. That strong side headlock and a shoulder block just levels Chavo Jr. Head over heel, sitting tumbling like hitting a moving brick wall. Chavo Jr. having a good time with the fans. That may have cost him, pulled him off his game a little bit. But now he remembers, without a doubt, he's in the ring with Fit Finley. You have to block the fans out when you're putting your life on the line. And that is exactly what Chavo Guerrero is doing right now. Chavo Jr. going to be putting his safety, his livelihood, right on the line. Fit Finley going out to take exception to the fans himself. Their disdain towards him as a parent as he lets that fan know exactly what he thinks about him. Well, and these are the exact fans that Chavo Jr. was just out there palling around with. Fit Philly decides to take a moment and go talk to them himself, but uh, not in a friendly way. Never wanted to back down from a challenge. Fit Finley is going to be all over this situation, and I wouldn't want to trade places with Chavo Jr. right now for all the pesos in Mexico. Or all the potatoes in Ireland, for that matter. Fit Finley, a man, he doesn't do anything in a friendly way. Everything is intense. Everything is calculated. And they, you know, the fact remains, they, they call him the Belfast Bruiser for a reason. And it's because he loves to fight. We all know that. We also know he loves to hurt people. Doing everything he can. A series of front and side headlocks there. Made it to the turnbuckles. Guerrero up on the turnbuckles. Referee having to separate him. Fit Finley denying that he done anything wrong. Yeah, Chavo and Guerrero just, just open hand slapped to the face of Fit Finley. Just made the fighting Irishman angry is what he's done. I don't know if that's a good idea. You know, sometimes they say when you fight and you, you, you're angry, it throws you off your game. But then on the other hand, you know, you make a guy like Fit Finley angry. And you might be asking for a little more than what you're going to expect. I'm very eager to see what's going to weigh out here. The strength and conditioning of Fit Finley or the speed and agility of Chavo Guerrero Jr. here. What a matchup we wow. got here at Crossfire Wrestling. And right now, Fit Finley is all over Chavo Guerrero. Beautiful European uppercut on that. And who better to do a European uppercut than a guy like Fit Finley? He is European. Got Chavo in the corner. Laying down those forearms on him, just chopping him down. Chavo's got nowhere to go, just absorbing the punishment. What a great main event this is. Brought to you by Crossfire Entertainment. Wrestling live the way you love it right here in Nashville, Tennessee. We're here, we're not going nowhere. Big turnbuckle, Fit Finley hit hard a second time, shot across, and those turnbuckles are not pillows right there. Cuts up, cuts him off, goes for the shoulder tackle. Wow. Not enough to take Chavo down, but the forearm was, Aaron. Those fists and forearms from Fit Finley are just, they're almost non-combatable. 
You know, you, once every time Chavo gets something rolling, it comes back to those fists and forearms, and Chavo back down to where he was before on his back on the mat. Big kick to the sternum is rendered him oh. completely out of the game right now. Slam once again, another hard shot to the sternum, using the mat itself to his advantage. Fit Finley showing no mercy right oh. now. Well, you said it too, the shots to the sternum on the inside of the ring. Finley pulls him out, looks like he's picked a part of the body to work on as he picks him up and drives him down with not only his own force, but the gravity and momentum of Chavo's own body as well. Drive him across the ring apron. Now Fit Finley's back in to try to pick up the pieces. Professional wrestling personified right here, brought to you by Crossfire Wrestling. The front atomic drop followed up by a big stiff forearm. Chavo Guerrero down as the fans are starting to get behind him. And I think he needs that encouragement right now because Fit Finley is just all over this one. Well, and you go back talking about the fists and the forearms of Finley. Just take a good look at the forearms of Finley. They're huge. It's like, like getting hit with a leg of lamb or something. The Absolutely. guys' the forearms most, are just most massive. Most men's thighs are, are not as big as Fit Finley's forearms. Referee Rudy Charles in there making sure it's not an illegal chokehold. Doing a phenomenal job officiating this match. You can tell Finley's knuckles white as he's got the pressure on. Chavo trying to fight his way up. The KG veteran, 38 years in the business, good, knows what's going on at all times around him. Drops Chavo right back down, locks him up, and keeps him grounded. That's what he's going to have to do to win this one. Big Finley also not afraid to pull the tights. I don't know if you've seen that there, but he also not only used the leverage of the the forearm around the stroke, but he also used the assist, pulling him down to the mat by his tights. Out of sight of the referee, very smart competitor in Fit Finley. So you have power and you have brains, baby. Absolutely, and what a combination. And it's definitely worked for him over his career once again. Just rips Chavo down to the mat and back into the headlock. That, that's the thing, you know, Fit Finley obviously very smart. Obviously very well aware of who his opponent is. Bring he knows, man. he knows that if Chavo gets moving around that ring, starts flying around, starts hitting them ropes, Chavo is going to run circles around Fit Finley. Finley, being the smart competitor that he is, knows to ground him in the middle of the ring, wear on him, grind on him, tire him out so that when he does hit the ropes, he's not doing it quite as fast. Listen when he's to coming the fans off the top. getting behind Chavo right here, trying to get him. If Chavo, you're exactly right, Aaron. If Chavo gets away from Fit Finley and he makes this scenario game, wow, is this matchup going to change. And we could see the beginnings of that right now. Nice European uppercuts from Chavo. Another one laying him right in there across the chest and stern of Finley. Drop toe hold and locks him up. See exactly what Finley wants to do. Chavo tries to break out of it and get on the move. But once again, he grounds him in the middle of the ring, locks him up. Chavo's not going anywhere. Chavo's arms pinned up behind Finley. He's got, him, got his forearm run right across the, his eye socket. Close enough to the bridge in the nose. Very, very uncomfortable position right now for Chavo Guerrero. I can tell you that right there is not only putting pressure on the vertebrae at the top of your back, but also going into your neck, not to mention the lack of oxygen. This man is definitely in trouble right now. Yeah, Chavo's gonna have to figure something out here. The fans definitely behind the Mexican warrior, Chavo Guerrero Jr. They're behind him and he needs it right now. The fan support can, well, sometimes it can do a lot for you. I know that you disagree. You don't want to hear the fans' chants, but you know, when you're down and you're hurt and you listen out to the fans and they're cheering for you to give you that little bit of gas, to give you that little bit of oomph to try to fight back, that's what Chavo needs right here because look at the man, he's wore down. Absolutely, I can, I can personally attest the fans get behind the wrestling, they do give them that extra Ooh. little burst of energy. They do give them that encouragement when it's needed. My thing is, when they turn around and they just let the fans distract them from oh. the matchup, sometimes that can be dangerous. But Chavo's going to the top rope, talking well, about danger. Big nice. flying body on Fit Finley. Two Not count enough. only. Fit Finley trying, he better keep this match on the ground because if Chavo gets flying around, 
Big Fit Finley can be in big trouble. Well, you see it, it's the constant theme of this match so far. Finley gets a hold of Chavo, pins him down in the middle of the ring, don't let him go. Chavo gets loose, hits him with a couple of those high-flying moves, rattles Finley's cage a little bit, but once he gets moving again, Finley grabs him, drops him right back down to the mat, and ends his game for him right there. Chavo Guerrero, for all his skills and ability, it comes down to speed and agility, and you can't be speedy or agile when you're laying in the middle of the ring. Running on pure endurance right now. His ability to endure the punishment being dished out by Fit Finley is what's going to keep Chavo Guerrero in this matchup. Exchanging forearm shots. I wouldn't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fit Finley exchanging forearms like that. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe back and forth right now. Fit Finley cuts it off. What's he about to do? Irish whip across the ropes into the turn. Oh! Nobody Swing and a miss by Finley. Looks like he might have caught his face on the corner post. The metal post on the outside of the ring. And if that's the case, here we go. Body slam. Classic Chavo Guerrero right there. Boy, that move like that just screams Guerrero, don't it? Absolutely. Not only does it scream Guerrero, it keeps Finley from screaming anything as he just knocked the wind out of him. Nice. Sets him up one. Could it be? Here's another Guerrero Classic. Set him up for the one, two, and three amigos. Chavo, once again, much to the delight of the fans of Crossfire Wrestling, making his way, it appears, back to the top rope. Finn Finley's up to cut him off. What's going to happen here? Not enough to keep the fighting Irishman down. Fit Finley meets him halfway up the ropes. Boy, this never Super ends well. Attempt. And it's going to add end bad for one of these men. Looks like Fit Finley down on the mat. What's Chavo going to do? I think you know it. Chavo making his way to the top rope. Big frog smash a la his uncle. Three yes. The aerial oh, game oh, went out oh, to the mat wrestling oh, as Fit Finley has suffered. They defeated the hands of Chavo Guerrero Jr. Chavo Guerrero able to channel his uncle Eddie with a beautiful frog splash from the corner. This one's over one, two, three. What an event it's been. Rod Biggs, Woo. this has been an amazing event. I'm